Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of simple and compound interest. This is standard 7.13e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 7 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Rita has a loan of $45,580. The loan has simple interest, and that's going to be a lot easier to calculate than compound interest. And its rate is 4% per year. So we're looking for the amount of interest that she will be charged at the end of one year. So if we look on our mathematics chart, we're going to see this right here. I equals P R T. That's all we get for simple interest. What we need to do is we need to remember what each of those letters stand for, and then we're going to plug and play. So let's write this out a little bit. So what we're looking for is our interest. Now this is simple interest. If it says compound interest, that is calculated completely differently. So I'm just going to put a simple interest right here. Since our problem said we are looking for simple interest. Now, this P, that stands for principal. And we're not talking about the principal of your school. We're talking about the original amount of money. So that's what the principal is, original amount of money. Then what we do is we multiply this by the R, which is the interest rate. Okay, so that's always going to be a percentage. And then we multiply that by T, which is time. So that's what those three letters stand for. And typically, this is the amount of years. All right. So let's see, we're looking for a simple interest. This is our unknown right here. So it's already on one side of the equation, so that's good. Let's figure out what we have. Our original amount is 45,580 dollars. And multiply that by our interest rate of 4%. And the time is right there one year. So that actually makes that pretty easy because guess what? Anything times one is itself, so we really don't have to worry about this. So really we're just multiplying the $45,580 times 4%. It's really difficult to multiply by percents, but we can multiply by decimals and we change a percent to a decimal by, if there is no decimal point, putting it after the ones place, but moving the decimal place once, twice, so 4% is the same as 0.04, not 0.4, that's 4 tenths. So that's all we got to do, 45,580. Let's go ahead and put that as a 0.04. We don't really need to multiply that second row, it's just going to be a whole bunch of zeros. But we do need to remember that we've got two digits behind the decimal in our factors. We'll need that at the end. So 4 times 0 is 0 here, 4 times 8, 32, 5 times 4 is 20, and the 3 is 23, 5 times 4 is another 20, and the 2 is 22, and then 4 times 4 is 16, add the 2, 18. Now, it might seem like you're going to pay more in interest. Uh, then the original principal, the principal is 45580 It looks like you've got 182320 but that's why we remember we are multiplying by a decimal. We've got one two digits behind the decimal in our factor, so we need one two digits behind the decimal in our product. And so that is going to give us our $1,823.00. Twenty cents. That is our interest rate right here, our simple interest. You notice how C, look at how C is the exact same as D, they just didn't put in the decimal. So our answer here is D.